Um, I just finished number 14 and then it got disconnected. So number 15 and the number 16 will be another video right now. Um, this question looks like a word problem and uh, looks like a very complicated, but actually it's not that hard. So they give you a function and then ask you which graph match the function. And actually, um, they kind of give you a hint. So if you use graphing calculator, you just enter y equals two and the graph and make sure you set your window correctly. You may find the right function, but this one or that one, you just uh, pay a little attention, you may do it. But actually part B, you can test test few point, like uh, input T, three different T, and then use your calculator input T and then try to find the output y. Now this is three point. You want to put here or put there, which one make more sense? Definitely is this one. So part A is easily done by the help of the part B. Now part C is talking about, um, is there any maximum for this one? Do you believe this, this graph is keep going up, 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 up forever? Or there's a horizontal asymptote to become a boundary to limit the graph keep going up? And actually, yes. So if you think about when t become very big, when t is not a very big, it won't follow anything, just follow itself. But when t become very, very big, what happen? You may ignore one. You may ignore five, right? So this plus one, plus five doesn't matter at all. Therefore, when t become positive negative infinity, you may simplify the function like this, and then you may reduce the t, and then, then n equals 150. So when, when t become infinite big, basically it equals to 150, 1050, 1500, sorry, 1100, that's it. Okay, so it means n approach 1500, and n equals 1500 is the horizontal asymptote. So this is number 15. And then number 16. Number 16 is same thing, is the word problem. Um, a little hard, but let me explain. They are talking about the dense and the width. The area inside is 81. And the outside, outside dense, this side one half, this side one half. So totally dense plus three, one, 1.5 plus 1.5 is three. And then, then here, two and the two. So outside the width is W plus four, two plus two, two plus two is four. Now they want to find the area is the minimum. Now how you calculate the maximum minimum? Remember, we need the second degree function. That's all you can do right now. And also, um, you need to have only one unknown number, only one variable. If you have more than one, you don't know how to handle it so far. So how to eliminate one unknown number is you solve for one data in terms of the other data. So right now I try to eliminate W. When I eliminate W, it means I want to solve for W in terms of L. So that's from number one, I have this. And then I plug in 81 over L to replace W. So I have this function. Now, how to simplify? You can just algebra. You can take a look by yourself. So after simplify, it end up with a function like this with one denominator. Now, 
again, if this error become very big, what happen? 243 divided by infinite, this part will go to zero, right? This part will go to zero. And then the rest oh, is plus. How come it become minus? It's plus. How it minus? Okay, fine. So in this case, this is the slanted asymptote when error become very, very big. So when error become very big, it will follow this. And where is this graph? It's not that easy to graph. You can use graphing calculator, but anyway, I hang graph by myself. I can tell you how to graph. First, you have slanted asymptote. And then you need to find the this, these two are the same thing because I want you to see it. So that's why I separated them. Actually, this is just the, from the denominator, not equal to zero. You can find the vertical asymptote equals to zero. So arrow equals to zero is the y equals to zero, this line. So the graph should be here or here or here. We don't know. Here we really graph it. So, um, you may try to find, remember I talk about try to approach, when x approach which number it will become how big, how small, and the, um, anyway, I think this question, you better you use graphing calculator to graph it, that's easier for you, okay? Um, and then after you graph, you can see that the graph is between these two asymptotes on the top. And then you do see there's a minimum. Minimum, we are talking about the minimum value of the y value or the y value, which is the output is, right now is area, okay? The output of the function and the input is error. Output is not the w right now because we eliminate error. W, the output is from area function A. And the minimum value here, you can use graphing calculator to find it. So this is my window, okay? And you do see that's a minimum. How you find the minimum value? You set up your function. So this is a function here. You say y equals to, don't use this one, use this one, okay? Oh, no, no, sorry. They are all y, yes, but you use this one. y equals to this plus this plus this. Enter to your calculator, and then set up the right window, and then you can graph. After you graph, you may try trace. So you trace the cursor. When you do trace, it will show you the cursor. So you move around the cursor, and then you can see the minimum value. Okay, you can play, play around with your calculator at home. And if you still have any problem, we can talk about it uh, during the class hour online. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm done with... So after you find the minimum value, then you can go back. Um, The calculator actually will show you when, when you are going to have minimum value. So which error will provide the minimum area? So they will give you these two numbers, error and the A, or in your calculator, we say X and the Y. So X and the Y here. So when the error equals to eight, you can plug in A here, 81 divided by eight is about the 10 and the one eighth. So, L times W, you find the minimum area. So that's how you do this question. So I think I'm done with this. And then tomorrow I will upload um, 2.7. And then um, I'm going to think about how we handle our test because this is, um, because tomorrow afternoon, our math department is going to have a meeting online. And at that time, um, I will find out 
how the school will handle our test. So more detail, I don't want to decide right now by myself. So please be patient. Just um, so tomorrow. Um, I will upload two point seven, and you may study two point seven at home, and you can try to do homework. So Monday was the schedule for chapter review. And the chapter review, I already show all the work there, and you can preview or try to test yourself ahead. And then Wednesday is supposed to be chapter two test. At this point, I have no idea how to handle our test online yet. So just don't worry about that right now. But you need to worry about finish your homework on time. And study regularly. Okay, so see you tomorrow morning. Bye.